Good morning. I feel like shit. Absolute fucking crap. This is me in the morning. This is how I wake up. My beautiful fuzzy wuzzy hair. Nice. <laughs> but I do I feel like shit. I had the worst sleep and then was thinking about a lot of things and I think that's why I slept shit was because I was thinking about a lot of things. You know what makes me really, really sad? Is that I don't get to see my dogs. We had two dogs, have two dogs, we had two dogs together. I have zero now. Turbo's like, he's a Labrador cross Kelpie and he's gorgeous. And he's like, we got him in 2003. So I'm pretty sure he turns 13 next month, July. He's getting on really old. His back legs are sort of giving out. He shallowed his pelvis out from wiggling his butt too much because he was so happy. And Chevelle, she's a staffy cross Kelpie and she's just a... Staffy cross Kelpie? No, she's purebred staffy. Sorry, Shelby was the staffy cross. She's a purebred um, staffy. And she's like... Has she turned five in May or six? And she's so full of life and she keeps Turbo mobile. She keeps him running around and walking and stuff like that. So she keeps him active, which is good for an old fart. She's the one that gives me... She's the one I miss the most because she talks to me. She comes up to me and, she, you know, you just say, how's it going, what's going on, whatever, and she... She speaks to you and she looks at you and she wants to know everything that's going on in your world. And you know, dogs are just, you can sit there and tell her that you've had a shit day and she'll be like, okay, that's fun. And she's happy about everything. I guess that's why she brings the most joy and I guess it's one of the things that I miss the most. <laughs> Is not having her around. Or maybe it's not me being able to be around her. I don't look as scary now. This is after straightening and a little bit of face troweling, shoving on that foundation. Just a quick note on like how I said I can't see the dogs. It's not that he doesn't let me. It's hard when I'm around there. I always cry because I miss Chevelle just, she's always sitting in my lap. She literally wants me to, she climbs all over me. Turbo gets up close and he just licks the hell out of my face. But <laughs> Chevelle's all over me because she misses her mummy and that's upsetting for me. And I feel like a bit of an imposition for going around there and like I shouldn't be around there. Like it's not my house anymore. So it's, that's what's hard, I think. So sometimes it's best that I just don't see them at all. It still makes me upset now talking about it because she's, she's my baby and I miss her. She's my baby in that sense of the word. But so, there's been a couple of times I've just like drove up there and like patted her through the gate and she's literally tried to get her whole fucking face through this little 10 centimeter hole. So it's 
bit dangerous there, but I love, I do, I miss her. She's what I miss the most. Anyway, better go to work.